Hello, friends. I hope you and your family are staying very safe and healthy. The COVID-19 crisis has certainly changed our lives for the time being. The uncertainty is very stressful, and I understand what many of you are experiencing. But I wanted to take this time to answer some of the questions that you have been asking. There are a number of items that must be dealt with by passing new legislation in the General Assembly. Since we are currently not in session, uh, that can't be done until we return. Some of these items include driver's licenses and permits, special ID cards, vehicle registration, vehicle inspections, license issued under the motor vehicle dealer and manufacturing license, automobile manufacturer license, late fees for motor vehicle registration, and the list goes on and on. So I may have left a few out. But since the governor nor the individual agency departments can modify statute, I am asking the governor to recommend that these violations not be enforced. When we return, which is currently scheduled for April 28, we will statutorily make those needed changes so that folks won't be faced with penalties and um, the inability to get the work done that they need to get done. Many of you have contacted me regarding filing for unemployment benefits. Obviously, the system has been overwhelmed. The department was not prepared for the onslaught of unemployment applications they would have to deal with. Uh, North Carolina had a 2,500% increase in claims. We were the seventh highest in the nation. I've spoken with the employment security folks and have let them know this is not acceptable. When we closed down restaurants, many small businesses, and forced people onto unemployment, it is not acceptable that the department was not prepared for taking these applications and getting the very desperate help that is needed to our citizens. So I will continue to work on that. Uh, I was told by the department that they are setting up another call center and that they are hiring more people. Hopefully it will be easier. If you continue to have problems, please contact my office and we will help you in any way that we can. We have been able to help a few folks. I also want to let you know that even if you don't qualify for state unemployment benefits, you still may be eligible for the federal compensation. Um, the system is just has not been set up to um, engage the federal portion of those benefits, but it will be done within the next two weeks. So even if you if you were rejected for state benefits, that does not mean that you won't be eligible for the federal compensation. So don't despair. In my last newsletter, I included a list of agency contacts to deal with many of the issues that you may be facing, facing. but if you need additional information, we'll be happy to help you. These are definitely unprecedented times in our history. This virus has created problems that we never could have possibly dreamed of, but we will come out on the other side, and we are going to be strong again. If there's anything that my office can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I am honored to serve you in District 31.